Wednesday. <laughs> yes, happy Wednesday. You have <laughs> the most amazing energy. It's like, it's like, woo! I love it. It's so fabulous. And maybe that's because of where you live and it's just free and fun. And, you know, I don't, I'm not really sure. But what I'm going to say is thank you guys for pressing play. And thank you so much for watching and tuning in every week and having this, you know, really important togetherness of supporting the community. So hearing each other's stories, what is your two word story and asking yourself, what is my two word story for the day? And how can I stay as motivated, focused, positive, and lifted as possible with only two words, mindset mantra. So if you can introduce yourself, that would be great. Can't wait. Okay. Hi, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking time to watch us. Um, my name is Katrina. I am the owner of Crystal Bar Soap. I am just a normal human like everyone else, but I just happen to have a platform and I create and that has brought a little bit of attention in my life. But um, I'm so normal. I still make mistakes. I still am trying every day. But um I realize the gift and opportunity I have and I feel so blessed every single day that I get to create and I definitely don't take that lightly and I love what I do and everything that I create is made with love and intention by me and my amazing team. We make tools and soaps and bath products to allow you to have rituals of self-care that go beyond just washing your body. It allows you to put your mind into a healthy mindset to help overcome things, to inspire you. And if you're interested in that, you can check it out. But that's what I do. Yes, I love it. And you know, it your energy is very reflective of how genuinely happy you are in the passion. You're in your passion purpose, right? You're just yeah. flowing with this amazing creative vibe. And when did you land in the space of this is what I'm meant to be doing right now. Like, was it? You know, like I've always been a happy person my entire life and even bad things have happened to me too, but I just never let it like, in, like get into me. Like I, I've always just been happy and I kind of knew when I was younger that I was meant to do something. Like people would tell me like, oh, I can't wait to see what you do, but I never really knew what it was. Mm -hmm. And I had like a little rocky start, like after high school, I like didn't really know what I was doing. I felt a little lost and I came upon crystals. I started crystal bar. It was kind of just a hobby, like a weird thing that I was just playing around with. And it wasn't until like business insider did like a feature video on us. And we got so many views and so many comments and so many people came to our community. I was like, okay, wait, this might be like a real business. And ever since that like exact moment, I've had to switch from like a hobby to like a business mindset. And it's been a beautiful growth experience ever since then. I love that. And um, your energy of like how you say you've been, you just hold yourself in a vibration of happiness. That energy mm -hmm. brings in abundance. So look at where you have ended up in your life. Like this is, Amazing. So thank you for taking time and coming on today. Um, I will say, so you're out in California. Is that where you yeah. actually have grown up your whole life? No, I started Crystal Bar in Canada. Oh, and wow. I lived in Canada. Yeah, Calgary, Alberta, little Calgary girl, little Western in me. And I moved Crystal Bar out here three years ago. And it was because of the business that I moved down here, went through the whole immigration thing, still going through the immigration thing. Um, but I love it. I feel like this is my home. I've met people that I love here, my friends and Crystal Bar is up here and it, it feels also right. So yeah. Good. I'm so, so, so glad. Okay. So we are going to jump into it. What is your two word story? I'm dying to know. Okay. I decided on create change. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. Ah! Okay. So why, why those beautiful words? I feel like I really wanted it to be an action. Like I wanted to be doing something, but I wanted it to give me enough like flexibility that it's not like harsh on me either. Like create change can be like, I want to change the world. I want to change people's lives. I want to have an impact, but it also can be like very small and personal too. Like yeah. If I'm in a toxic relationship, it's time for change. If mm -hmm. I am not taking care of myself, it's time for change, breaking those cycles. So it's something that can be an everyday mantra and to apply to everything 
that I'm doing in my life. And it's so simple and it's so small and I love alliteration. So it's just so easy to remember. And I feel like with everything that the universe is always asking of us, it's always asking us to grow and change. And I think you should always be evolving into another form of yourself. Like that's, I think in my opinion, the point of life is to evolve. So it's, it's beautiful. Like your explanation underneath it, I feel very, very connected to it. And from a universal law of attraction manifestation standpoint, yes, changing, evolving, and growing happens throughout our entire lives. And once we're open to that, that notion, then you can flow yeah. more easily. And when you're in flow, the universe sees that, feels that, you know, you don't have blockages. Abundance flows through you. Ideas, living your life truly happy comes with that, you know? Um, so create change is extremely powerful. And you put it so simply because two word story is meant to be very simple. I love how simple exactly. you made that. It was like, you can make it as big as you want it, making an impact in the world with the message and your mission of your, of your company and what you're doing. And then it could be create change. Like I felt like crap yesterday. And what am I going to do to create change to feel better tomorrow? Maybe I'll drink this wine or maybe I'll, you know, maybe I'll get up and do yoga every morning. Like it's like big changes, little changes and they all make a difference. Right. Yeah. And I think like you can, like you always know, like change is going to come, like change will happen. And I think it's either going to be forced upon you or you can just embrace it and make it happen. And I found in my life when, something isn't vibing right and I know I need to make a change but I'm too scared to do it that it just gets worse and worse and worse until like it breaks and then change is gonna come regardless so you might as well just like own it and find power in it and be like no I'm gonna create change right now this is not okay and move forward and do something about it like I'm really in this vibe right now of like it's time for us to start doing stuff. We can't sit around and wait for people. We can't wait for someone to make us happy. We can't wait for the system to change for us. We got to just do it ourselves. And I know there's so many amazing role models in this like world right now, and they're all so powerful, but like any one of us can be up there. Like we all can find our own strength and power. And it doesn't just have to be like the few on the top, like how it's always been. It could be millions of people becoming like their own most powerful versions in this world, not just us like you, right? So I just got the chills when you said that. I was like, oh, feels boring, right? Like it feels like it's going to happen. No. And, and that's what we're really trying. We're sharing that message for those of you who press play and listen to this, like think about create change for yourself and what can you do to be a higher vibration and, and, and closer to happiness? Because when we're all combined together, Think of that energy of happiness. Just it's like such a powerful energy, yes. and it's it's such a powerful mantra. And you did give. I feel like I was going to ask if there was an example recently that you were like, I really need to create change. But you know, you said yourself, you're like, I'm in this vibe of feeling like I need to create change. So so where exactly do you feel like like do you have an example of where this mantra has really helped you out? Yeah, like, I think I maybe I've had this mantra in me for a long time. I've just never really put it to words. Mm -hmm. But, like, even, like, literally most recently was this, like, last collection we did about masculinity. Mm -hmm. And when I was launching it, I I revamped my website, too, and I got rid of, like, colors that were attached with our brand. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make it, like, very, like, gender neutral, like, anyone can come on here. Because I realized that, like, maybe Crystal Bar was very tailored to, like, females and the feminine side and I wanted to even though we have like the black lives movement going on and all this like fighting for justice I also looked at my brand and realized that I wasn't really being inclusive to everyone so I wanted to open the portal and allow the masculine energy to come in and just rethinking about like how can I create change for other people and myself and the business and it's shifted my mind Set, like with how I want to run Crystal Bar and making sure that we are like we have a lot more charity things going on and just I'm figuring it all out but change for the better is like the underlining motivation behind all of it. Love it. Thank you. Oh my goodness. That was such a beautiful example because we do struggle with making you might feel in your gut change is needed but we don't know how to navigate it. So yeah. 
don't forget to ask those around you for their advice. You know, journal it out. Sometimes just putting your thoughts onto paper helps so much to open the answers up to how you can change things. Um, and just listen to your intuition. So create change is a mantra that we love. And thank you for sharing it with all of us. And you guys might grab a hold of it this week and try to let it empower you this week and decide where you need to create change. Is it a small change or is it a really big change? And if it's feeling scary, try the self-care tactics. Grab some crystal bar soap and incorporate it into your self-care routine because I know I am. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have landed um, in your space and in your portal because it feels very magnetic and, and the energy is just very good. It's very wonderful. Thank so thank you for taking the time and coming on. Of course. And um, just for anyone that's going to do this work, like remember, it is okay to make mistakes. It is okay to try and change and to fail. That is also part of the learning experience. Every single time I failed in life, it has taught me way more than what success has taught me. So embrace failing, embrace just trying. That is totally the vibe and it's totally okay. Oh my gosh, that was so key. And thank you for sharing that last bit. I loved it. And we're sending all of you guys love. Thank you for watching. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs>